Um, we were always taught when we were children that Jesus was going to come and he was going to take the good people with, us, with him and the bad people were going to stay behind. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was also, my mother even made it a little bit better and just it was going to happen in our lifetime. Yep. Which was right anyway. And, uh, <laughs> Partly right. <laughs> yeah. But what had happened was, um, in Europe we came home for lunch at school and I came home one time and there was no one home. Everything was open, the doors were open and my mother had gone and there was, and I got into absolute panic because Jesus had come and he had taken everyone away and he left me behind. Absolute panic and yep. it was the ultimate rejection of God rejected me because I wasn't good enough because yep. they were going to go to heaven. I was now going to go to hell and burn forever and ever and yeah. ever. Yeah. Or there was also some story going around with a millstone around your neck or something and chucked into somewhere. Yeah. And yeah, and um, maybe that I'm finding it really hard to connect with God, I suppose, in yeah. a way. Yeah. I try, I try, but I said, you're listening to me. Are you taking notes of all this? <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 yeah, these kind of causal events when we're little usually based around religion, have a huge effect on our relationship with God. And like I, I've heard of ones who, you know, they felt a real passion for God and then they realised that anybody with a passion for God had to be a nun or a priest. You know, so they didn't want to be a nun or a priest, so they couldn't be, have a passion for God anymore. Or Then there's others who, you know, in the name of God, have had very, very unloving treatment, even abusive treatment, sexually abusive and and violent treatment given to them. So obviously they then attribute that treatment to God. And so the very first emotions, my suggestion is the very first emotions that you deal with, if you can make them what they are about God and, and, and what you feel about God, it's going to help you greatly with the other emotions that you deal with. So the emotion that you feel is this deep feeling that God has rejected you. So allow yourself to start, you know, pray about that emotion. Allow yourself to start stepping into that emotion as well. That, in fact, God doesn't want you. Yeah. He wants everyone else but you. And allow yourself to start really stepping into that emotion and fully feel that feeling of rejection that you feel from God. The truth is that down the track you'll feel quite differently about God. But right at the moment, let yourself feel that emotion. Because that emotion will open a gateway into the other emotions you have and then you'll also feel God helping you through the other emotions. Does that make sense? Yes. So if you can do that, you'll find that your relationship with God will get re-established. At the moment, it's very difficult for you to pray to someone who you feel has already rejected you. That's right. Yeah. So allow yourself to fully feel the rejection. Like place yourself in a position where you feel that God has rejected you and just does not want you. Let yourself feel that emotion. 